Antonio Conte gives his Chelsea flops three days off to recover from latest crisis. Chelsea lost their second game in a row last night at Watford in an embarrassing 4-1 collapse, and have conceded seven goals in less than a week, putting their chances of a top-four finish in real jeopardy. Workaholic manager Kant, now under real pressure, has privately admitted that his squad has been overworking recently with games every three days, and has given them extra time off. His players will now not report again until Friday to prepare for next Monday's crucial match at home to Premier League strugglers West Bromwich. Have been hit with a series of injuries to key players in recent weeks, with up to eight hamstring problems being suffered by Kunt's men. Left back Marcos Alonso had to be rested from Monday's game because as a precaution to avoid injury. Defender Andreas Christensen missed the trip to Vicarage Road because of a hamstring strain, while goalkeeper Thai bought court why had only just returned from an ankle injury. Kant is hoping that by giving his players an extended dress they will get valuable time out to refresh themselves for the crucial run into the season. Chelsea play Barcelona on February 20 in the Champions League last 16 and are also in the fifth round of the FA Cup, as well as battling for a top four finish to secure Champions League football for next season. Reports from Spain have emerged this morning claiming Kant could even be sacked today and replaced by Luis Enrique. And bookmakers Ladbrokes have suspended the betting on Kant to be the next manager sacked. Jessica Bridge of Ladbrokes said, Kant's a dead man walking, and it's surely a case of when, and not if, Abramovich says arrived or see. Last night Kant said he'd accept any decision to remove him. Saying, my position? It is the same. I stay here, try to work and put all myself in the work. The pressure? Which pressure? What is the pressure? I work, if this is enough it is, okay. Otherwise, the club has to take another decision. While Ray Wilkins thinks the players have stopped playing for him. The players are performing in exactly the same manner as when Jose Mourinho expired, they're just not performing, he said on TalkSport. We can say it's the manager's fault, but he doesn't go out there and play. Last night we were inept. They never started the game. Give full credit to Watford, they absolutely annihilated Chelsea last night. Some of the goals Chelsea conceded last night were absolutely abysmal. As much as people say it's time for a change at the top, I think they've got to clear out a lot of players at that club. They should blood some of the younger boys who have done exceptionally well. Chelsea's youth team have won the FA Youth Cup six times in the last seven years. Some of those guys must now be 21 or 22 years of age, lob them in. Give them an opportunity.